All right, Mr. Talifero TV, how's everybody doing out there? We're playing this little GM game here. If we were the New Orleans Pelicans, would you take this deal if the team was offering or would, would you not, right? I know you're wondering why in the hell is Zion Williamson in a Chicago Bulls jersey? Let me get to that, all right? I want to say this little side note here. Right now, the Chicago Bulls have the fourth worst record in the NBA. But they're only a game away from having the worst record in the NBA. That's very valuable, all right? If you're one of these bad teams, if you're Phoenix, if you're Cleveland, if you're Chicago, uh, you, we want to be losing games right now. We're in full out tank mode. There's no reason to be winning games right now. You're trying to get in this. This is the year to be in the draft. This is another one of those years. This will not be a down year in the NBA draft. You got R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, John Morant, who's looking like the next Russell Westbrook. I like Darius Garland out of Vanderbilt. He's injured right now, but he'll be back. Uh, Tennessee's got a really good team. They might have a couple lottery guys, Grant Williams. Um, you, and obviously, the biggest elephant in the room is that guy that you see on the screen in, in Zion Williamson. He'll be the number one pick in the 2019 NBA draft, barring a team already having a four and a five, and, and they looking for a guard like R.J. Barrett, right? This will be the number one pick for most teams. So Zion could easily end up being a Chicago Bull if they get the number one pick. And I'm going to ask you guys this question. If you are the Pelicans, and... You know, they don't have a crap ton of assets right now. Zach Levine is, is playing good ball. Jabari's dra draft stock is low. They're trying to move on from Jabari as I make this video. Chris Dunn, maybe? We're, we're not going to even go that far. So we're just going to say straight up and down. If the Bulls got the number one pick, and let's just say Anthony Davis doesn't get traded at the deadline, and he's on that, that Pelicans roster this summer. If you have the opportunity, if you're the Pelicans, to get Zion Williamson and bring him down to New Orleans, baby, for Mardi Gras. And it's Anthony Davis for the number one pick, which you could make Zion straight up and down. If this is sitting on your desk as the Pelicans, would you take it? Would you take it? Would you take it right now? All right? You know what's out there. You know Boston is going to be able to offer you guys like Gordon Hayward and Ted Rozier. And if they wanted to, a Jalen Brown or a Jason Tatum. Uh, what what else is out there? I mean, there are going to be Lonzo Ball, Kuzma. You know that offer is out there. Would you be willing to say no to all that for one guy, the most hype a player has had around his name for quite some time, Zion Williamson? I, this was the toughest one I did, y'all. I know we did a few of these. This is the toughest one. I'm going to say yes. I, all right, I'm going to reluctantly say yes. I would do this deal. Yes. Hey, I, look, man. There's something to be said about guys who just have the it factor. In my humble opinion, Zion has the it factor. Will you be good tomorrow if you're the Pelicans? No, you're going to be awful. Guess what? LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers were not good his first year. Right? It takes time. But if you guys believe, and I don't know where the Pelicans, I don't know where Dips is at with all this. If you believe that Zion is your guy, right? He could be your guy. Then you make this move. Because to me, he won't be as great a talent as Anthony Davis is. But the potential and popularity that he has around his name already puts him from a height perspective over Anthony Davis, right? He's not 6'11". He's, he's not going to give you 25 and 10 out the gate. But the ferocity that this guy plays with, he's undersized at the next level, right? I just believe he's going to figure it out. And at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, while you start this rebuild, right, you're going to have a guy that's going to put butts in the seats. When that kid gets out on a fast break, people are going to get up and they're, they're just going to see what does he have next in the chamber? Is it going to be a windmill? Is he going to come through and dunk on somebody and, and have court sets? Like he's that type of potential. And I just think when you got these guys that come around, right? And when there's such a low level of them being a bust, and I think Zion's going to be a pretty good NBA player. I think he's going to figure it out. He's six, what is he, six, seven, six, eight, two, eighty-five. That's a lot of weight to have on you. I think he's going to lose 15, 20 pounds, but still look bulky. That's going to be a lot of just pure muscle, not fat. Man, I, I would do this deal. And let me make this clear. This is probably me not thinking with my head. There are better offers out there. Obviously, you want to get more players. I think you want to take three good players over one great player, right? I think the common GM would take that. But in my opinion, you got a chance to shoot for the juggler. 
Nobody's considering the Pelicans a championship contender. They're not going to be one anytime soon. But if you got the opportunity to get a franchise change in player, a guy that when the New Orleans Pelicans are playing the Atlanta Hawks, when you got a guy that can bring people out, when they're in Atlanta and you got Zion, he's able by himself to be a draw kind of similar to how LeBron was in Cleveland. Man, he was packing out arenas and his team was awful. It was him and Larry Hughes and Ricky Davis. Man, you take that opportunity. You take that chance to be great, not tomorrow, but create a great mentality with somebody who's going to challenge himself to be the greatest version of himself every day. And that kid, say what you want about Zion, bare minimum, he loves the game. I'm watching him at Duke. He, had, he got injured a couple weeks ago. He refused to sit out for the rest of the season. That kid wants to play this game. He loves this game. And, and being at the NBA, some guys, I think, you know, once they get their money, they, they lose that love and passion. I don't believe it with that kid. He's the one guy I will be, be willing to change all my rules. Not R.J. Baird, not Cam Reddish, not John Morant, not, not none of those guys. I'm not saying they won't be great players, but the potential that he has, the box office that he's going to be, I'm taking my chances. I'd go Zion for Anthony Davis, straight up. If, if, if the Bulls offer me that number one pick, here's, here's Anthony Davis. If you're crazy enough to give up the number one pick without Anthony Davis committing to you guys long term, I'm taking it. What y'all think? Y'all tell me what y'all would do in the comment box below. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.